spreadsheets, flowcharts, Venn diagrams, divine inspiration. That's right, this week we're talking about characters. Alistair Cook in this leather chair from those old masterpiece theaters. Wait, I need like an aperitif or something. Ooh, how magical. I'm Gretchen McNeil, and welcome to this week's episode of YA Rebels Theater. This week, we'll be exploring the intense emotional connection between an author and the characters that they create. Or not. So, I know we've talked before about how I'm really into like motivation and character motivation and why it is that people do things. And it's actually something I sort of find myself um, exploring in real life with people I meet and people I know, why it is we make the decisions that we make, um, why it is people act the way they act, uh, you know, who they date, what they wear even. And um, I think that sort of influences how I build my characters. I'm definitely in the cannibal camp, which is... I do tend to steal from people I know. I don't think I've ever written one character that's based wholly on one person, but um, I definitely take pieces of people that I find interesting and sort of combine them together. For example, in my first novel, the one that will never see the light of day, um, I had worked with a girl who was always saying that she would never get married. I'm never going to get married, Gretchen. I'm, I know, puppy. I'm never going to get married. And, um... I always thought it was funny that, like, one day Grace was going to show up married. Like, we didn't even know she was dating someone. She would just show up married. And I actually wrote a character in that novel that does exactly that, and it was sort of inspired by Grace. Thank you, Grace. Um, a lot of people ask, are my characters like me? I bet every author gets asked that. Um, a little bit. I think the main character in Banish is probably more like me than anyone else I've ever written. Um, very sarcastic, very independent, almost, um, destructively so. I've gotten a lot of criticism from, uh, friends and family and loved ones and whatnot that I don't let myself be vulnerable and don't like to show weakness or show that I need help. And, um, thinking about that a lot in the last couple of years of my life, and I think that really came out in Bridget, where... She is so intent on not needing anyone's help that she has closed herself off to human contact. And in the process of the novel, one of the things she has to learn to do is to let herself open again. Um, but characters for me are sort of like building blocks. I and mean, there's a lot of books on it. I've read some. Um, there's one sort of interesting one that has to do with character traits uh, written by a psychologist, which I thought was sort of interesting. Um, but I'm definitely a people watcher, and I, I like to watch, you know, the quirks of people, their, their strange kind of traits, um, the way they talk, the way they deliver lines, the way they hold themselves when they meet someone new, when they're with someone they're comfortable with. I'm definitely a person that picks up on all of those sorts of things, and it really influences how I build a character. Anyway, so that's me. Uh, this is our first week with our new Tuesday Rebel, Hannah, who's coming up tomorrow, so please tune in and watch her. She's so intelligent and so talented, and we are really, really lucky to have her. And that's it. Next week, we'll be back with more fun.